Hey, what's up guys? It's Connor here with Zen Gear, and today I wanted to answer a question about 3D printing and is it expensive to print things when you, the, just the everyday cost of your 3D printer? Uh, and it's really easy to figure this out because right here I have a kilogram, uh, that's the standard size that filament comes in. It's a 1 kg spool. A 1 kg spool is a thousand grams, like metric system, one kilogram, one thousand grams, like one hundred, they use like one hundreds. It's amazing because it makes things really simple with math. Why don't we use that? Other people have complained about that. I'm going to complain about it as well. I wish we had done that, but we didn't, so we're here. So anyways, how much does it cost to 3D print things? Well, I thought we'd do a little thought experiment here and Let's see, we're gonna, okay, so the average price for a kg of filament, I'm gonna say, is about 20 bucks. In reality, it varies between like 15 on sale to like 30. So we're just gonna say 20, more realistically, lately I've seen it like, like what is this on, um, on Amazon, I've seen it for like 23 today I was looking. So, we're gonna take a look at Bernie here, and I'm gonna minimize my screen so you can see Bernie. This this little thing has been in like popular on Reddit and stuff, so it's it's a Bernie sculpture. And if you don't know why it looks weird right there, those are called supports. That's so that when the 3D printer is printing this, uh, it doesn't fall over. Cause imagine a 3D printer going line by line and only printing his feet, and then coming over here and adding weights it would fall over. So that's what a support is for. Anyways, how much does this cost? Well, you can figure out with your slicer program. When you slice something, it gives you the estimate of time, but it also gives you the estimate of how many grams of filament it uses. This little Bernie right here will use about three grams of filament. There's a thousand grams in a spool. We said a spool averages $20 um, for this example. So three grams times two is six cents. Am I right there? <laughs> I think I'm right there. So <laughs> Bernie, this little Bernie will cost you about six pennies. That sounds way too cheap, but a hundred grams would be two dollars so three grams would be six cents yeah math uh, you know it's crazy so you can see just by looking at that uh, the 3d printing is surprisingly cheap now of course this doesn't factor in things like electricity or the actual price for the 3d printer but once you get everything set up um, it's not going to cost you that much. And most parts people print are on the smaller side. Just for kicks and giggles, I went and printed, okay, so I've been thinking like making a bookshelf to hold this camera on. The camera you see me using right now is sitting upon books because I, I don't have like a stand to elevate it. And if I don't have it like right here, it's like stairs at my chest. So I thought I'll make something really bulky just to give um, an example here. So this is what I came up with. It's very beautiful. I made it in Tinkercad. Uh, yes, my design skills are, you know, exquisite and I know that and I'm glad you appreciate that. So how, how much does this come to? Well, let's look right here. Besides the horrendous printing time of 17 hours, uh, we see it uses 170 grams of filaments. I just like ha like tried to crack my neck there really fast. And I probably probably looked like, you know, sorry. It was like a twitchy movement. Anyways, uh, 170 grams of filament using our example is about three dollars and forty cents, which for a shelf um, isn't that bad. I tried to make this like thick, just to give you like uh, an example. I've never actually printed something this big, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of. The general cost and I said $20 for filament I've gotten filament for cheaper than that I did a 
Joanne's uh, like had some sale. So if you just keep your eyes out, um, a lot of times you can get filament for even less. And uh, like my current roll is, it was like 13 bucks on sale. Um, I don't know how common that is because I'm new to the to printing, but it it really makes your prints quite cheap. And um, you know, that's that's the thing. It's cheaper than you think. So it, it's actually um, a little shocker to do this math myself. I didn't even realize it was this cheap. I wonder how much electricity costs now, but I don't feel like going through the hassle of figuring that out. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like and um, have a good one. If you 3D print something or if you're a pro or you have any deals on printer filament you want to share in the comments, do that. And thanks for